Prehension Blooms is a new performance work. It's a collaboration with Bristol Robotics Lab. You'll see three roaming robots that are bio-inspired um, and two dance artists interacting both with one another and also the live audience. And it's a work that explores the ideas around loneliness, the origins of loneliness and companionship and what that means today. Finding a sort of shared interest in, in which to connect people through robotics. I've been working on uh, developing these autonomous um, mobile robots that will move through the sand build space that the performance or installation is held in. Um, and they're inspired by a few different sand dwelling organisms. So they have a sort of locomotion method that's based on how turtles move through, through sand, through granular media, and their sort of gait and their kind of marking of the sand is inspired um, by horseshoe crabs and the way that sort of the, we get these lovely markings on the sand that are created by the organism's body as it moves around. And we sort of started looking at the idea of how we might use robots that had quite sort of biomimetic ways of moving and so sort of biomimetic modes of embodied communication in a performance space as a way to kind of expand access to the space so that people could attend it remotely or kind of interact with it in, in new and hopefully exciting ways. Anyone that's, that's um, at home but can't physically turn up to a live performance, they can uh, log in online a bit like a, a Zoom call and um, operate and influence the, uh, the movement of one of our robots. And the dancers will be interacting with the robots and, and um, with a camera on board. So if you can imagine a dancer taking a close-up look at you, hopefully that sense of connection um, with, with one of our live performance in a very kind of close encounter, let's say. These are, I guess, our first sort of full prototype of the robots that we'll be using in um, the performances and installations that are coming up. A lot of these parts and, and build them in a, a reasonably accessible way. So the sort of the brain of the robot is based on a Raspberry Pi computer, which has become a very popular tool for people wanting to work on robotics or do robotics education or sort of different um, aspects of computing and engineering um, and the robot's sort of little legs are servo driven. Um, it's got these sort of flexible arms which are used to mark the sand but these are driven by the same motors. There's a little camera that allows the robot to kind of see and interact with people in the same space as it. You can take such a huge amount from thinking in a different way, from the different language that sort of people from creative industries use. Um, and the different sort of ideas that that sparks. Sometimes it can be just looking at a very similar problem, but in a slightly different way, or just a slightly different phrasing of it, and it totally reignites your thinking about it. I think it's hugely beneficial and something that's growing a lot at the moment, which is really, really nice to see and be a part of.